Hi everyone, this is Packbat. I'm uh, doing another stream of Opus Magnum Puzzle Creator. Uh, this is just my solution to uh, the the gold one at the uh, beginning of the game, where um, you take a bunch of this uh, mercury quicksilver on the left, and you turn lead into gold. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and open up the puzzle creator and um, yeah, refined gold. Open up the puzzle creator and so I think I'm going to poke at this while I'm I think I'm going to poke at this while I'm I think I'm going to poke at this while, like, working on getting, uh, while you all, uh, think about, like, things you might want me to make. I don't really have, like, a clear idea in mind, and I don't know what color the, this quintessence stuff is supposed to be anyway, but iron plus water... Iron, rusted iron, I don't know if that would be iron plus water or iron plus fire, because, like, yeah, I just don't know, but, um, trying to make something evocative of iron rust with the quintessence, and, I don't know, I might just not upload this one, because I'm not feeling certain of it, but it is plausibly... A case of um, uh, some kind of purpley color. So I'm gonna try making it and I can decide later if I like it well enough to upload it. It might be an interesting puzzle which might just be uploading for that reason. Anyway, uh, let's get this going. Oh wait, I need to go in here and hit test. Um, okay. So obviously I need obviously I need a glyph of unification. I can't get away without it. Um so I think my plan is Well, I mean, half of it is really easy, because I just take two elements and stick them in. I'm just going to use a single arm to do that, because I don't really think this needs to be fast. Grab. Rotate. Drop. Rotate. Rotate. Grab. Rotate the other way. And return. And that drops off each of those two. Yeah. So, that's one half of this. This alcohol, I need to... I need to snip off the two salts and turn each of them into... I did not give myself the glyph I need. I'll be right back. I believe it's the glyph of projection. Yeah. Uh, no, that is the one that you upgrade metals with. It is... Duplication. Of course it'd be duplication. Hi, uh, Heart of Aquamarine. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Glyph of duplication. So we need to take these two salts, strip them off, and use the glyph of duplication to duplicate. Hmm. What have I 
started off like this and then let me just set these out of the way for a sec but if I start off like this oh I don't have I, I would have to rotate it twice yeah, heck with it um right so let's have the little bond snapping thing here so this would go boop boop and it would lose that salt and then it can do a boop and lose that salt and get the iron attached to it and go off do some do something else with its life um I think the wheel is unnecessary because I already have the water and the fire, but I'm throwing it in there because people like using the wheel. Um, or it's it's an option that people can use, and I'm like, might as well. Um, okay, so I think you are going to grab this and move it to the there that it needs to go. Okay. I'm doing here. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing here.
Okay. Okay. So at this point, I have the quintessence made. And I have these two in a position where they can get iron put on them. This is, this is ridiculous, but, wait, no, I can't, I can't do it like that because I have to come back up with this stuff. This is even more ridiculous! <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so you, okay, let's see when this happens. Okay. I mean, it can be there early, I think. But I want it to be there at the time of that push. So... So... This plus is going to happen at that time to push. Before that, it's going to rotate from here to here. And before that, it will grab the thing. And at that point, 5 has responsibility for everything. So... Rotate... Okay, so I'm holding the iron like this. If I spin it counterclockwise, that'll make this bond. And then... I think I'm going to rotate left and spin it clockwise twice. And that puts it in position for this? Okay. Okay, this needs to happen later because arm four only drops off the salt here. So I need to give the salt enough time. Oh, it can happen two steps before that, apparently. No. Okay, so that's where we want it to happen.
this out of the way. What if I put a thing here? Plus rotate left. Let's see if that gives me any problems. Oh. Except now I've completely surrounded this little triangle and it's impossible for me to actually reach the exit. So I'd have to let some other arm do that. Okay. Cheapest is always rotations. So... Sneak in an arm here that will grab that, put it right, and drop it. I'm gonna entertain myself by putting with the equilibrium in there. Okay, so I can't put an arm there. All right. Here, I could just have one tiny little arm. Okay. That is the thing. and it is solved. <sighs> Whoa. 
what is the name that we give this thing? I'm gonna call it Blob because there's so many lifts all packed together super tight okay and now we need to make something new what are some products we could work on I can uh, do something if y'all don't have any ideas right now. Um, but like, I'd like to have, you know, something which is like, here is a thing that you can make, like sculpting clay, and just try to figure out how I would make it in this system. So, uh, if you if you do have ideas, then I will go ahead see about making something happen. Uh, I'll go ahead and keep an eye on the chat for uh, suggestions, but I think I'm going to try to make tea. Uh, um, hmm. Just a second, actually. I'm going to look at... There is a puzzle in the in the journal, which is like important developments in seafaring. So okay. So like air and salt ends up being some kind of preservative thing. I'm guessing this is some kind of healing salve. Um, yeah, maybe if... Hmm. I guess air keeps off water, maybe? I don't know. Um, I was trying to think of if there was some ideas here that I could borrow to make something intended to be intended to soak into liquid into something that that stays that preserves a little bit better maybe I can stick an air on it somewhere with the expectation that the air is going to bubble out of the water or something 
Because I'm aiming for, you put this in hot water and you get tea. Um... So, I think I want it to be some mixture of earth, salt, oh yeah, yeah, you got here in time for new puzzle suggestions, please suggest puzzles, I, uh, I like doing my own puzzles, but a lot of the reason why I like doing this as a stream is so that I can do yours. Elemental spiral. Just like a spiral of elements? It's an interesting thought. Okay, I'm going to delete this for the moment. No, I'll, I'll leave it here because I think there's an idea in it. But, new puzzle. Pity you can't. I mean, I see why, because it would be impossible, but it's a pity you can't make, like, a spiraling. Uh. Something you might use in universe to investigate crime scenes, fantasy, luminol. Okay, that seems pretty cool. Okay. Okay, I think I actually have an idea for that. Um. Or at least the start of an idea. Uh, well, um, okay. What would be a good name for it? So the idea is that you put this on a surface and it shows up. Um, you put this on a surface and it shows up if there's any, uh, remains of life there. I'm going to call it forensic powder. Or maybe forensic mist? Yeah. Yeah, forensic mist. Um Well, I figure it probably makes more sense to have like a little perfume bottle kind of thing and just go pss, 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 pss. Uh Okay. So, I'm going to have two atoms and they're going to be kind of symmetric. One is vitae, one is morse. Um Because, like, you have a Vitae and a Moors combined, I think that they, uh, I don't know, stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a, hmm. No, I think, I think this makes sense. Uh... Okay. 
Okay. So, these are very small particles. They have air in them, which kind of makes them... Air and water, which makes them sort of a liquid, but very easily aerosolized. And then you have both the Vitae... Well... <sighs> hmm... Well, I think, like, the mists in this game tend to be very small molecules, and so, like, yeah, I mean, you could maybe do something with gold? Maybe there should be a third particle, which is, like, a gold with a Vitae and a Mors attached to it. And, like, if all three end up coming together, then you end up with, um then you end up with, like, the other stuff, like, meeting and dissolving, and then you have a gold film where the... where, where the... where the stuff is. Hi, Winter Dust! Um... I think this is, like, kind of what I'm thinking. So... Right. So I'm making... So I think... Three... So... Uh, yeah. So, the idea behind this stream is um this is the game opus magnum it's a alchemy based programming puzzle game and so you have various things like you have a job where you need to make this face powder out of uh elemental earth and so you take some earth and you turn it into salt and you attach A gold is more colorful. I mean, I could do copper. Copper might be cheaper. Yeah, uh... Well, no, I mean, I think gold has... Uh... I'll, I'll get back to that in a sec. Um, anyway. Uh, so, like... You make these elemental products... And, um... No worries. Uh... Oh, no, you were talking. <sighs> There's already a bunch of busy work with turning the, 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 again, I'll get back to you. Um, yeah, so the idea is you have these various products in the game, and you have these various elements, and you grab bits of stuff, and you turn it into what's something good, uh, Probably, not, probably something not too late in the game. Um, yeah, so... Like, you have some water and some of this, like, uh, Vitae stuff, in this case. You have water with two salt, which makes distilled water, and then you have this elemental vitae and you combine these things together to make this health tonic or whatever so the idea is so the idea of the game is here is a product here are some reagents turn this into that using various arms and pistons and tracks and various glyphs but the idea of this stream is you make a suggestion of something to make. Uh, so, like, someone suggested sculpting clay. And then I was like, okay, so I know that if you have lots of earth, it makes, like, a goopy substance. So what if I mix in some salt to make it a little bit less goopy and then add some water so that that stuff will boil away as you cook it? 
And that's how I came up with this puzzle. Um, it might not be the best solution. It might not be the best solution to how do you turn the alchemy of this game into a thing. But the idea is... But, like, that's the challenge I'm setting myself with this. People make suggestions. Uh, and, like, I try to take those suggestions and turn them into... A puzzle in the context of this alchemy game. So, if you want to suggest, like... I don't know. Um... Whatever. If you if you want to suggest a thing, this is there's a number of examples over here of things I made uh, previously. Then I'll try to turn that into a puzzle. Anyway, Nate, I don't like the idea of like. I mean, there's gonna be a whole lot of busy work with the Vitae and Moors anyway. I'm not sure I want to add to that a whole lot of busy work with. Um, the gold. I'll go ahead and take it off the list for now, and then I'll decide after I figure out what else I'm going to put in. Um, I think I'm going to start with distilled water, because, like, more salt. Well, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't start with distilled water, because I'm going to need... Oh, I'm going to need two water... And two of these total. So yeah, distilled water actually gives me the right proportions. Because I use one pair of salts to make this and one pair of salts to make that. Okay. Um, and then I need some air. And then I need to make gold. There's a way in the game. Um, like it's an alchemy game. And it's a universe where alchemy is real. So... There might not be a Philosopher's Stone, but there is a way to turn lead into gold. Uh, and... Yeah, like... Nate's suggestion, I believe, is to... Start off with something cheaper than gold, and make the gold in the machine as it is making the other stuff. I don't really think I want to complexify it like that. But, like, yeah, that was Nate's suggestion. I mean, making gold is fun, but, like... I don't know. I feel like it's kind of... I don't really have a lore reason for... I mean, what I do have a lore reason to justify is let's make it cheap, and the cheapest metal that isn't white is copper, so I could just make this copper, but um, I don't really have a lore reason to say let's, uh, <laughs> I am glad you get the premise for dust, and yeah, uh, I am okay with terrible suggestions, Nate. Uh, I just take everything literally, so you get to watch me, like, think out loud about whether we should really make a puzzle where you have to, like, disassemble an alchemical jewel to turn it into potatoes. Uh, I don't even know how I would make a potato in this game. Um, no, I think gold just makes more sense because, like, gold leaf, it's perfectly possible to have a, a, a stable connected extremely thin sheet of gold and I think that's what you end up with like the idea of this forensic mist is you spritz it over a crime scene and wherever there are traces of blood you end up with like a gold hard fact I mean that's like even more not what I want to do right now <laughs> like I don't want people to have to go do all that work yeah, uh, <laughs> I get where you're coming from, but no. Not even if I meet both of these lead. Um, it takes like seven steps to turn lead into gold or something. Six? Six steps to turn lead into gold. Wait, five, actually. Which is nice, but 
uh, still a lot. I, if I was doing copper, I might give them lead. Is that a good enough reason to do copper? I have seen the... I have seen your solution to lead to gold with no quicksilver. I, I, that was epic. Okay. So, Ooblack would be fun. Uh, let me make like a note on a piece of, on an index card or something. Ooblack. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, so do I use gold or do I use copper and give the player lead? Copper I'm willing to make them build up to. Uh, gold seems like way too much work. Copper, it is three steps, so it's cut nearly in half. And especially, I mean, I would give them copper and Quicksilver, probably. Uh, lead and Quicksilver, probably. But, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to have them not have Quicksilver, I think. I mean, although these are cheap ingredients, so maybe they are going with just lead and save the cost of Quicksilver. Uh... So if, if you have any votes on, like, gold, and we just use gold, or lead, or copper, and we make it from lead, last chance. I'm just going to use gold. Uh, okay. Okay. So, I mean, the co I need the glyphs. I guess you have an extra chance. Oh! Okay. Okay, no, you're right about that. Iron for the connection to blood. And if it's iron, then I'm willing to, to make you make it. And no, iron is actually really cheap, and it's probably cheaper to buy iron than it is to buy lead and make iron, so I'm just going to give them the iron. Uh, but, yeah, no, um... Iron with a connection to blood, that's a good idea. Let's make that happen. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, I completely forgot my skin. Okay. Okay, so I need... I believe it's the animis... animismus that uh, gives you the two halves. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, so starting point of the entire puzzle is we are turning, uh, right, so we want to have a process that takes the water, Okay. All right. So here's how I'm going to start this. I'm going to have this arm take the water and break off each salt.
Okay. So this arm takes the water and breaks off each salt. Right, I need to put it at the products. Let's, let's simplify this a little bit. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. So that is the process to make Okay, so arms one and two are going to generate this stuff and water. Water is going to come out of the system here. Okay. Okay. So we have I've made things hard for myself. <laughs> I guess this is a good thing, but because I've made things hard for myself in an interesting way. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
So here, uh, this first return is when the water is there to be picked up. This second return is when these are there to be picked up. And the first return happens on the fourth tick of the second return. Hi, Bye Fi. I am going to be. Wow. Sorry, just. I've made myself a puzzler here. And uh, I wasn't entirely expecting that. Um. Somehow. Wait. Dang it. Okay. Um. Okay. So... I'm holding down the one key and it shows me where all the atoms were at the end of the cycle. Um, right. So these are the two things I need to make with the air and the water. Um, okay, so if I connect the air to the water here, then... Then it's the right orientation. <sighs> Connect the air to the water there. to here and here to represent that I want to do no no it's fine um this what this uh distilled water will give me one water and two salts twice. So that leaves me with two water and four salts. Four salts turns into two vitae and two mores. So here we have two water, two vitae, two mores. We add two air and one iron and everything is balanced. But yes, it is a little bit complicated because the vitae and mores, half of them go to these thingies and half of them go off and become and connect to the iron later. I connect to the iron somewhere else. So it's... It's funky. But it's not, like... Yeah, it's... It's... it's. I mean, it's hard because... You've got stuff moving every which direction. Is why it's hard. So I think this is going to end up down here somewhere, this is going to end up up there somewhere, and this is going to end up down there somewhere, and that way, uh, and that way I can have subsystems in each part of the map. Okay. Okay, so for the first water, I'm going to have the more... I'm going to have the Vitae go into the water and the Moors go into the iron and the second water vice versa. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Arbitrarily. So arm four. Let me go ahead and confirm this works. Okay, I have to grab it one step later. All right. Um, okay. Arm four. And I need the VT out of the way before I can do anything with it. But... Yeah. have all its instructions required to handle the iron Okay, so four and five don't work, I'll be sad, but I think they will. Four drops off this Vitae, so that needs to turn around. Uh, four drops off the Vitae here, and the iron will already be here. So that will give me this part. This is going to shift over, oh, no, I can't do, do it like that. Okay, this is going to shift over and then the uh, Moors drops in on this cycle because it's already down here after dropping off the Vitae, so it can come back up and grab, slide over, drop the moors. And um, after the moors gets dropped, this gets rotated into place and comes back. <sighs> okay, so that's iron gotten rid of. and. We have the iron takes the first Vitae, I guess. Apparently the iron takes the first Vitae and then the second Moors. So we do the Moors mist first and then the Vitae mist.
The Morse is there. I want the air there and it pointing down and to the right. Um, Spin it the other way. Spin it the other way. So this went ting, ting, ting. Spin it the other way, and I have the Vitae twice. Plus plus hint. spin it one more time. So this move back a sec. Okay. Yes, that is the correct shape. That is the correct shape. So seven should grab back up and rotate to the right. So right now we have this. So if we grab back up and rotate like this, we're in place. So that should deliver this and the first iron down there. Iron is done, which means that all I'm trying to do here is take care of the take care of the other thing. Okay, I 
think when this finishes, the water might already be there. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, this time I want to have... This time, I want to have the air, the water on the top. This time I want to have the water on the top. Water has dropped off on the fourth cycle of the fourth dick of this. One, so one, two, three, four. Right, no, I don't need where the water is dropped off, I need where the Vitae is dropped off, and that is three from the end. So at this point, arm six grabs the track rotate right. This point seven grab. All right, let's see where we're at now. This is super complicated, but uh, I think I think I'm making it work. Six digit one tick early, right? delivers this here and returns. And then seven grabs it. Seven, grab, pull, 
rotate to the right. That should be every thing. I'm going to move this for my own amusement to put that Cracktelli symbol in a prominent place in the system. So, So what should we call this solution? Or what should I call this solution? Call it circle around enemy simus or something. Okay. Okay. Um I'm gonna give myself uh a minute and then I'm gonna work on the Ublack. Uh, hi, I'm back. Uh, hugs to Aquamarine. Um, okay. Right. Blue black. Okay. Uh, All right. So the so the thing about Ublek is that it is uh dang it. I wish I had a third screen so I could watch the stream chat. Okay. All right. 
You know what? I'm going to set up, like, Forensic Mist to play in the background. No. I'm going to set up Smelling Salts to play in the background while I go on the internet and look up what Ublek is. Okay. Just a second. I'm going to let it get through the six products and then push the button to say, uh, just keep cycling. Alright, so, internets. If it runs choppy, it's because um, I'm booting Firefox and Firefox hates fun. I don't know. All internet browsers are really slow for dumb reasons. Uh, um, Wikipedia shouldn't be slow, but I have a lot of tabs open that aren't Wikipedia, and, uh, okay. Do, do, do. Wikipedia says that Ublack is not spelled with three O's. Um... So, Ublek is a mixture of starch and water. So, let's look at starch. Starch, or amylome, is a polymeric carbohydrate consisting of a large number of glucose units joined by glycosidic bonds. The polysaccharine is produced by most green plants as energy storage. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, two pure starch, white tasteless, odorless powder. Consists of two types of molecules, the linear and helical amylose and branched amylopectin. Um... Okay. So the amylopectin is some kind of branched uh, string of things. And the amylose is... Let me check the Wikipedia page for it. Okay. Okay, so both of these are kind of chain molecules. It's cornstarch water colloid. Yeah, I'm just trying to get inspo for it, and it sounds like we're looking at something where we have... It sounds like we should make an infinite chain for this one, and it's like, this stuff break... This stuff mixed with water becomes funky. Or becomes interesting. So, um... I think maybe okay so it's a carbohydrate it's carbon hydrogen oxygen oh not carbohydrate Car it's it's made out of the chon atoms carbon and hydrogen oxygen doesn't seem to have any nitrogen um Okay, so let's, let's think, uh, polysaccharide, okay, okay, so there should be one, so we need one or more, like, long chains of something that's not actually stiff, uh, something that can give us, like, Something that can be wiggly and... Mm. Mm. Oh. 
hollow six ring structure. Uh, okay, uh, let, okay, so, wait, these are air, I wanted water. Do I even want water? Okay, uh, any thoughts on, like, something like this? Is this the kind of structure you're thinking of? You're kind of limited in Opus Magnum because uh, this dot has to be in the center and this dot says repeat like this dot is the center dot. So you only really have half the board. Make the water salt, not earth. Like, have... Like, this kind of thing? Oh, you meant like, um... Like this? Wait, okay. So, I did two variations, one where I had a salt line, and one where I had an earth, where I had a salt line with earth and water next to it, and now I have an earth line with... Salt and earth sound starchy to me. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so you were thinking of... something like... Something like this? Oh, the earth line with salt. Okay. So we have an earth line with salt attached to it. Let me check my notes real quick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh, okay. Alright, so I've been going back and forth between two, th like, two things. So, I'm going to call this one... This is the one I was calling Salt Line. Um... Right, lag. Okay. So this is the one I was calling salt line, the other one I was calling earth line. Uh, so we want... What? <sighs> so... Like, the way I'm thinking of it is that... It doesn't really make sense to... Hmm. I mean, like, what I'm imagining at this point for the, for the water is you just take these crystals and you pour them into water. But, um... How would we integrate the water into the structure if we wanted to make it... Okay, uh, did you meet... Okay, so first of all, um, part of Aquamarine, did you mean the thing, but mean the earth line I was originally talking about, or the salt line that I made? Stuff has to be bonded. It doesn't let you put in unbonded stuff. I could have it, like, really weakly bonded. Like, um... Like, see, all atoms must be connected. I could have something like... Like this, where you have... Okay. Okay, you wanted the earth line. That makes sense to me, too. I, I mean towards the earth line. Uh... 
Uh, Nate, is this water in the middle of each loop uh, fit with, like, your, your, your thoughts? Just sort of, like, throwing something onto the screen, seeing if it works. the water bonded to the salt because like water plus salt is pretty standard kind of water stuff okay okay so this is one of those this is like this looks fun as a puzzle and uh, all right I'm gonna throw in one last thought so so there's just water inside the loop, and there's also water outside the loop. And um, so this would mean twice as much water, which would probably mean a wetter solution, which is probably what we want, to be honest. Um, so, okay, so we've agreed on, like... I think we've kind of agreed on Earthline. Well, so, uh, salt is really, both salt and Earth are treated as normal in this universe because this is a universe with alchemy and much less chemistry. Um, I think. Like, these are, an alchemist turns ordinary substances into alchemical concepts. Um, okay. Okay, if we got like the stoichiometry close. <laughs> th that sounds fun. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I mean, so, distilled water is, like, this is distilled water. Like, if you take water and you distill it, you end up with this from an alchemical, sorry, from an alchemical perspective. So, uh, like, we're talking about the alchemy of the game. Like, salt is pretty normal. Um, and it's kind of vague what it represents, but... Uh, we roll with it, because it's a puzzle. Um, I'm liking this. This... Uh, yeah, it's normal for salt to be connected to water. Yeah, but... And yeah, it's normal to salt, for salt to be connected to water, but, um... Like, the thing about Ublek isn't that it is... So my thinking is, like, Ublek is... Like, as a substance in our world, is pretty mundane. Um, so it being made out of components that are water and components that are earth seems like a good way to mundane it. Um, and also, it's pretty standard in the puzzles to have, here is a liquid with some stuff connected to it. So that's kind of where my head is at with respect to this. Wait. Hmm. Okay. 
Hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at this and it becomes weirder and weirder the more I look at it. Um, like... Hmm. Okay, so I'm wondering if we want both of these things to be like this. So we have the waters here. I think I'm going to do it like this because this is a little bit more regular. Although it would be funny to have a situation where it's like, yeah. I mean, I only have like 20 minutes to solve this before I need to... Hmm. Oh, like, like have all the water be on the outside? Something like this? Right. I mean, there's two ways you can approach it. You can either be like, I want this product to be oobleck. Or you can be like, I want this product to make water into oobleck. Um... So... I think adding the water makes the puzzle cooler. Honestly, and I'm kind of inclined to make the puzzle cooler. And that's kind of where my head is at when in terms of let's have the water in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, five wide polymers is is just a little bit wild. <sighs> you yeah. I mean, I I'm not going to double track this. Um You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to have two each of water and earth because there is so much stuff that you have to make that I think it just makes sense to give people extra materials. Um, and we have a glyph, glyph of calcification so we can make salt out of whatever we want. I think optimal would be three water and one earth because that would make it seven of each required. Um. <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyway, um, okay. Okay, so I guess I am going to have a wee bit of a challenge that I now have to execute on. I appreciate the suggestion. This is this is a good puzzle. I just um looking at this and being like, wow. Okay. Alright. I think probably easiest would be 
to make water to make this water plus salt stuff and then add that to a chain of earths so uh i'm gonna start on the bottom no start on the top because that's going to be the that's going to be the right side and as i move it over yeah okay um okay yeah yeah i i yeah i did make that particular part of it uh yeah that that that's a thing okay Let's let's step away from all of that for a second and figure out how we want to make make this. So I want to make three of these. do a simple water plus salt generator. Gotten how to do this thing. Okay, so you have water, water, rotate to there, and then you have this. That! Okay, that's, that's the water plus salt thing. Because you have one arm like this, one arm like this, bam, you turn water into salt. Except, let's do it the other direction. So that three can just throw that salt water onto onto the spiral. Uh, let's redo that anyway. Okay. Okay, so the idea is like a one, two, three. Oh! <laughs> it, 
makes this hard too. Size. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 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 all have a good time. Um. What happened to? Okay. Right. One two is that thing now. Grab left, left, turn, grab left, 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 turn. Pete. Grab left, left. Okay. So. If that is these three, then we need to have a, what's the opposite of acute angle? That between this and the water sticking out. Which this will do and also crash into that. What if instead I had an intermediate arm in here somewhere? So, right. Okay, so two, grab, rotate, rotate, turn. Let me grab these and set them out of the way for a sec. Okay. So I do that. That is a acute angle, not a not a not a oblique. Is it acute or oblique? Is it what? What's the opposite of acute?
Okay. That's the structure built. And now I just need to drop it off where someone, where some other arm can deliver it. Okay. Okay. Obtuse. Obtuse. Oblique sounded wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this system will deliver... to there. life easier for myself set this up over here where something else can grab it and wander off with it. Silly idea.
Right, that will crash. Oh, eh? So I'm going to add one more plus to this subsystem. Slide everything back. Okay, just to confirm that it breaks if I do it one step earlier. Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, let me try to mirror image this over here. Okay, so let's let's go in order. Five is supposed to come in. Five is supposed to come in like this. Seven is the arm that swings things. No, that's not right. Okay. Right. Okay. Seven is in line with that. With that. This just clips. And so five, six, seven, eight, all the rotations need to be the opposite.
four, five, six, seven, eight. And five, six, seven, eight. The instructions all need to be. Six, seven, eight, all need to end. Right, so I need this minus here. So that means okay, so I have one block gap for that. here and a water here. Five. Five, you were rotating the wrong way somehow. Good. One rotates that way, so I didn't reverse five. Reversing five with it all the way at the top and see if things are sufficiently out of the way. In the meantime, we need water here and earth here. Okay, so that doesn't work at all. Um, okay. So the moral of the story is that the center thing needs to happen later. This nine needs to happen later. Okay. So what if we move that back to two spaces? And then we want the second this guy to be in line with here. So what did I screw up? I screwed up one and four somehow. Or I screwed up four somehow. Maybe I accidentally grabbed four while I was trying to grab everything else. Right, right. I must have, because four is supposed to start on three's first thingy. This is neither
cheap. This is this is gonna hit the top of none of the things, but I think it's gonna work. Okay. Okay, no it isn't. So, did it rotate clockwise? Did it spin clockwise? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> okay, I need to wrap this up. Spin clockwise, it needs to rotate clockwise. Yeah, this was a really complicated one. This is a really complicated one. Oh my goodness. Me. 
I can... Wait. You didn't see me facepalm there, but somehow all my waters are upside down. They need to be the exact opposite direction through the system. Okay. If I want it to be there, Okay, this is gonna be really okay. Right. This needs to happen three spaces earlier if I want to rotate it. Okay, okay, let's not make ourselves rotate.
needs to happen on two cycles later. So I need to, and that means nine doing its thing needs to happen two cycles later. Four. Right. Before debugging. Like, feel free to just sign off now and go watch by Furiosa, because this is this is the fiddly little uh, part of this. Um. So. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the old one, it was ping, ping with the water there in the loop. And the new one, I want ping, ping with the salt there in the loop, which means this needs to, means this needs to be, let's say dropping it there, rotate, Yeah. Right. I'm I'm being foolish and doing multiple operations in one. Okay. So four the timing on four is messed up now. Uh, the second repetition of four needs to happen. 
at the release, which is two steps later. Which is why five happens when it does. Gonna take a little bit to uh, make the gift, yeah, because it has to make some molecules before it will let itself. Uh, thank you all for hanging out for the stream. I am going to, like, wrap it up now. Because that was huge. Like, we did two things, but both of them were kind of uh, big projects. I guess I did a little purple dye. But uh, thank you all for coming. I will catch you all later.